Nucleic acids. Nucleic acids are polymers of nucleotides. A nucleotide contains a phosphate group, a pentose, five carbon sugar, and an organic nitrogenous base. So here we have our phosphate group, we have the pentose or five carbon sugar, and here we have a nitrogenous base, this example being adenine. The base, pentose sugar, and phosphate group joined by condensation reactions, releasing a molecule of water. The base joins at the C1, that's carbon 1 of the sugar, and the phosphate to carbon 5, which is known as the 5' prime position. So the base joins at the C1 carbon, which is here, and the phosphate group joins at the 5' prime position at carbon number 5, which is here. Nitrogenous bases. There are two types of nitrogenous bases, purines and pyrimidines. Purines are larger and contain two fused rings. Pyrimidines are smaller and contain only one fused ring. So here we have the pyrimidines, they have one fused ring, and the three examples are cytosine, uracil, and thymine. They are given the letters C, U, and T. At the bottom we have the purines with the two fused rings and the examples are guanine and adenine and they are given the letters G and A. Polynucleotides. Nucleotides link in condensation reactions involving the phosphate at the 5' prime position of one nucleotide and the OH group at the 3' prime position of the next nucleotide. The backbone structure for polynucleotides is alternating pento sugar and phosphate units. So here we have the phosphate group at the 5' prime position and we have the OH group at the 3' prime position. So the nucleotides link in a condensation reaction. We have the OH from here and the H from here. They're released as a molecule of water and we have a condensation reaction and the link is called a phosphodiester link. And here we have the backbone structure with alternating sugar and phosphate units.